hello students today we will talk about our next topic of isometric projection it is related to isometric scale so let us uh, see what is isometric scale as explained earlier the isometric projection appears smaller than the real object this is because all isometric lines get equally foreshortened the proportion by which isometric lines get foreshortened in an isometric projection is called isometric scale it is the ratio of the isometric length to the actual length when we discussed about uh, isometric projection of a cube in that example we learned that in, in isometric of any particular object these isometric lines are equally inclined to plane of projection so if any line is inclined to plane of projection you can't see true length of that particular line so for those isometric lines which are equally inclined to plane of projection we see their a reduced view in isometric projection so the reduction in those particular uh, isometric lengths will be equal to 18% or we can say if we have a cube of 100 mm and if you have drawn the isometric projection of the cube then in isometric projection of the cube only 82% of the actual dimension will be visible this we have learned in the theory of isometric projections so same uh, thing he is saying over here that uh, all isometric lines get equally foreshortened the proportion by which isometric lines get foreshortened in a isometric projection is called isometric scale so it is the ratio of isometric length to the actual length so what is isometric length it is 82% of the actual length fine so let us learn how to draw isometric scale so the first step is that uh, we will draw a baseline of sufficient length then at this particular point we'll put protector and we will draw a line at an angle of 30 degrees so mark 30 degrees then draw another line at 30 degrees then we will draw another line at 45 degrees with the base line at 45 degrees draw another line then what next we will do on this 45 degree line we will draw actual scale fine so just place your scale at the start of this line and copy the dimensions draw the actual scale like 1 cm 2 cm 3 cm 4 so on up to the length you want so let us draw up to 9 cm now when you mark the actual dimensions you have to mark these millimeters dimensions also but in order to save time i am just marking the centimeter dimensions so we will call this particular length as true length because we have made actual scale on this so let us name the markings 1 cm 2 cm 3 4 5 6 so we have made up to 9 cm now what is the next step from these markings draw vertical lines on to 30 degree line vertical lines on to 30 degree line from these markings now we will label these markings also as 1 2 3 up to 9 on 30 degree line so let us call this as 1 2 3 4 5 up to 9 we call this particular length as isometric length
now very important part to understand let us mark this as 0 if 0 to 9 on two length are actual 9 centimeters then you see from that the marking we have dropped a vertical line onto 30 degree line so we got a corresponding point on 30 degree line that is 9 so this length 0 to 9 on isometric length this is 82 percent of the actual so we call this as isometric length fine this is what he is saying the proportion by which isometric lines get foreshortened so isometric lines are foreshortened by 18 percent so we are able to see 82 percent of the actual in isometric length fine so we will call this particular scale as isometric scale and you can mark these angles also like uh, this angle we have taken 30 degree and this was 45 degree Now if we have to prove it mathematically what you can say you can consider this as first triangle if I sketch a line here let us say uh, if we consider this line so we can consider this as the first triangle fine so in this triangle we can say base upon hypotenuse so base upon hypotenuse is equal to cos 30 degrees so over here what is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is isometric length. Fine. So we can say that base upon iso length is equal to cos 30. So from here we will get iso length is equal to base upon cos 30. Similarly, in this triangle, we can say base upon actual length or true length is equal to cos 45 degrees so from here we can say true length is equal to base upon cos 45 degrees so we got these values value of Iso length value of true length. So what he says, what is isometric scale? It is the ratio of the isometric length to the actual length. So if we have to find isometric scale, so iso scale will be equal to first take isometric length, ratio of isometric length. What is isometric length? Base upon cos 45, sorry, cos 30. Then ratio of isometric length to actual length what is actual length actual length is based upon cos 45 so when you will solve this you will get a value 0 0.8165 so that will be equivalent to 82 percent so i hope the procedure of uh, drawing isometric scale is clear to you thank you very much